Okay, here we are back in the little Alice project. Um, I made a couple changes. I brought it back into Blender and I colored the floor a different color and I also colored the ceiling a different color just to, to differentiate the two. And then I also added these archways. Uh, I made one original in SketchUp, brought it in, and then I have, have just manipulated them so that they fit the very strange ceiling and wall configuration in here. So the next thing I'm going to do is bring in the furniture that I built in Google Blocks. I first brought it into uh, Blender. I exported them from Google Blocks and brought them into Blender as an OBJ file. I applied the same color texture that I'm using here in um, this model. And, um, and then I simply applied the colors to the various furniture pieces in Blender. And then I exported that as an FBX file. So I'm going to bring those in now. And so I'm going to do that by, um, let's see, these are then there, the furnishings, I think, right here. Okay, there they are. And if I click on that, I can import them. Yep, and here they are. They came in all white. I'm going to make sure that I lock off the grid, bring them down in here. And I applied the same texture that I applied to the, the walls. So all I need to do is grab them, press the texture button, and choose that same texture. And here they are. I'm going to just rotate it so it's easier for me to to grab them. Okay, and like before, uh, these elements have been brought in um, on the grid, so they're right angle to the floor. And normally I'd like to keep them that way and then bring them in individually, making sure that I don't um, mess up uh, their sort of right angle placement to the world. But since I freehand built all of this stuff, it's pretty messed up to begin with. So I don't really have to worry about that. Probably the only place that I'm going to potentially make sure that it's sitting flat on the floor is over here, the table that's going to be in here. So when these came in, they all came in together. So I'm going to grab them and I'm going to get to unlock them. So now I can grab these individually. And then now I can turn off the grid because I'm going to pr start placing these by hand. And just like I did with the doors and the walls, I'm going to use this as my palette, and I'm going to bring these in individually uh, by, by selecting them, pressing the trigger, and now I've got a copy, so the original one's there. And then I can sort of bring them in and start placing them around. And at this point, I'm just going to start placing them sort of willy-nilly just until I have... Uh, something that starts to feel good. I'm not terribly worried about where they are at the moment. And I can also get inside here too and finesse the placement. Grab both of these, bring them in. And then I can also rescale them. Now I can't edit them. If I do that, I lose the color information. If I really wanted to edit them, I could do that and recolor them and bring them back in. So I'm going to start grabbing elements. So I'm going to grab the, all of these lights here. And once again, I'm just making copies of them and I'm going to bring them in here. I'm going to worry about how I connect them to the ceiling later, but, uh, And I also only have three of these lights. Uh, I am going to probably design so a few more. And uh, I'll change the colors too, so there's some variety. And I'm sort of, sort of scaling these on the fly. I think once I get inside here, I'll give a better idea. Then I can nudge them in place them. And I think probably the thing I'm going to use the most are these picture frames. So I can move these away. Let me grab some pictures. 
because it's it's going to be these pictures that are going to add the most variety. So let me just grab these guys here. And I'm not too worried about their placement on the wall, just sort of eyeballing it at the moment. Let's see. Grab these two. I have a feeling that I'm probably going to want a lot more variety soon enough. Okay, let's grab a couple chairs. Then I'll... bring them in here. And this very much like laying out a dollhouse just gonna eyeball this stuff. And I kind of already did that one. Grab one of these. What else do I have? I've got to bring another table in. And I already can tell since I only have one table, I'm probably gonna wanna get some other varieties in here soon, sooner than later. Let's bring this teacup and saucer in. I think also I want some unique plants in here eventually. Okay, what else do I have? Uh, doo -doo -doo. Oh, cushion. I'm going to put a cushion in this chair. Grab a couple bottles, maybe. Bring those down. Yeah, I can already tell I'm going to need a lot more things as I continue. Let's see, let me, I know I'm going to use this table right here. So let me put the lock on, grab this and move it down here. And I'm going to make it bigger. And I can turn off the lock now that that's placed. And I want this drink me bottle and this little bonbon box. Bring that over here. Drink me bottle goes right there. And this box goes under here. You can make it a little bit smaller. Yeah, definitely I'm going to want plants in here. Uh, what else have I not used? Oops, I haven't used this guy. Maybe I want to use him later. And...
Oop, haven't used him yet. Okay. You know what I think I need is I need a little shelf that I can put things on. So, so I don't necessarily have to jump out. I'm just going to make one. So I'm going to make this grab a nice brown color. This will be a temporary shelf that I can make a better one to replace it. So that'll be the top of the shelf. Then I'm going to grab one of these and And this is quick and dirty. Really quick and dirty. That's a little, could be fatter. Oops. group that and I'm going to put on the grid and I'm going to move this guy over here, scale it down a little bit. So that's in my palette and come back to that later. Let me place some of these a few places. Let's say, is my grid off? Nope, turn the grid off. Okay, so I've got this little shelf. I'm going to put it a couple places. Um, Try not to re repeat it in super obvious ways. Um, and also, since I've I've got this, I can actually edit it. Oh, that's interesting. Hmm. Ah, well, learn something new every day. So if I select it, I can grab the various elements, and it's not changing the original one. So let's grab, I've got a plate here, and I've got a candlestick. I have two candlesticks, actually. So let me bring those down. Let's put one of the plates here with the candlestick. Grab. Go back and... Where shall I put this candlestick? I put the up. Oh, let me put one over here on this chair here. And let's see. Um, 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 um. I haven't used this spittoon anywhere. Where should I put that? As much as I want to cluster things, I've, I've got a limited number of objects. And there I was thinking I had all these objects to use. Let's put that here. 
what could I, what could I put in that upper shelf there? I've used these two. I can't use them again. Um, let me grab. I'm going to use this one here. And let me use that one again. I'm going to bring these over. Fat little bottle. Maybe I'll use that plate again. And I'm not just moving them, I'm actually copying them. So I still have the plate here and I've got it here as well. So that's starting to come together. Maybe I'll Move this here. Not terribly worried about any rhyme nor reason as to why I'm using what I'm using. I'm mostly doing it for feel. Same with these picture frames. I can come back later and texture in something else that goes with them. some kind of portraits. So something else this feels like it could you really use is something more billowing in the ceiling. So let's just rationalize that these lanterns are connected to, for whatever reason, some like ropes or some cord. So I'm gonna open up, let's see, this tool here, and I'm gonna choose a color that's almost Oh, dark, dark, dark brown or gray. And then I'm going to really simplify this. Choose that or that, actually that one, make it low poly. And make it small. So this is, this is what I've got right now, uh, the tool I'm using. So I'm going to draw a line like this. And then I'm going to swag it like that. OK, and I can now edit it. And it's got a lot of points on it. I'm going to reduce that by simplifying the points. Let's see, a couple times. Well, that simplified that a little too much. But for this, maybe it needs to get bigger. That looks weird. Let me choose a different color, like maybe a red, dark red. And let me make, make this just a little bigger. Simplify just one, um, two, no, too much. One and I can grab these and so that that looks nice. Just some more business up top. Do this and I'll attach to this. Simplify you. I think another thing I'm going to need in here too is going to be some kind of fabric swags. So the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to choose a plane like that. And so there's a plane and I'm going to choose a maybe a deeper red or maybe even a bluish green color. I can change that later if I want. And I'm going to edit it. And give it some Let's see, I'm going to grab, tuck that in and that in and that in. Grab these guys. I think I need to 
segment it a little bit more, shrink it. And all I'm doing is I'm grabbing these points and reducing their size to create a swag. Just give it another bit of a return. And oops, gonna connect these dots a little bit, just so there's just not there's a little less geometry happening here. Then I can also soften this a little bit. That makes it a little softer. Let's see how that looks. Put a swag up in here. Oops, I grabbed the lamp. One there, and let me copy it. Let's do another one over here but i'm going to change the color to that red color just to be different So that's looking better. As you can see, I'm just eyeballing everything. Um, let's just make sure, is there anything that I haven't used a couple times already? Um, let's use that cushion. Gosh, do I need more stuff? Okay, let's get down in here and just see what that looks like. So I'm down here at 100%, get up a little bit bigger, grab my teleporter thing. And I'm starting to sort of navigate my way through here. Drop down a little bit. Come on. So, so far my, the arches aren't affecting my height, so I'm not bumping my head into anything. But you can see it's starting to fill up pretty fast just with this, this handful of props. And uh, so I have a lot more to do, uh, but you get the idea. So here's down this hallway. I think it also needs a, a carpet, a runner, something that runs down the, the hallway. And that will probably be something that I would texture and bring in in Blender. But um, I'm kind of happy with how this is feeling. Uh, at some point, I'm also looking forward to coming in and like coloring these doors and this wainscoting is going to help a lot. And uh, let's also see if I can adjust the light. So if I do this and grab this light, I can play around a little bit with what the lighting's doing in here. It's all kind of exterior lighting. so. Uh, not until I get into another application like Enscape will I get a feeling like I'm the walls are really solid. But uh, for being in a tool that lets me just wander around, this is pretty pretty successful. So anyway, so that's how I would go about starting to place items, and uh, I'll probably be making some more furnishings, and I'll probably add a little bit more of the ones I have, and I'll check back in with you, and you can see what the progress is looking like. So once again, thanks for following along and I'll send another update soon. Thanks.